What's up guys, Dr. M3 here. Today's video, I'm gonna tell you what I think are the best features of this car, the BMW i8. The first favorite feature of mine in the BMW i8 is what I call the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde feature. The car in comfort mode can be the most quiet and eco-friendly vehicle there is. It's amazing, all electric mode. And then literally with the flip of the gear lever, it turns into something completely different. Take a listen. That's when you get the e-boost to kick in. Now, it's very, very quiet. We're hunting wabbits. Shh. This is the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde personality of the i8. Silence. That's number one, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. It's difficult not to always want to put this car in sports manual because you can drive it in sports, auto, but why do that? Drive it in sports manual. And of course, some of this sound is fake that's piped in, but it sounds so good. And of course, it has the performance to go along with it. So how could you be upset at this car and the way it sounds and the way it reacts? Number two on my list of the features that you may not know about and is favorite for me is that this car clearly has BMW Motorsport components in it, as in BMW M. The lower control arm, which is I think what it is that we're looking at, actually has an M logo on it. So it's clear, and I believe it's off of the M3, M4, um, fairly similar parts. So, hey, the car that has performance that rivals the current M3 and M4, zero to 60 times of 4.2 seconds, enormous amount of torque, just as good as the current M3 and M4. Why not? M components. And it begs the question, what else? What other features, what other components in the car are from BMW Motorsport? I'd love to see an M i8. Who knows? Maybe it's in our future. This is the first production car, along with the i3, that uses carbon fiber reinforced plastic as a regular component, not only structural, but aesthetic component of the car. And so you'll see some of the lines on the BMW i8. The reason why they're able to create those lines, including the flying buttresses at the side here, is because it is using these reinforced plastics. Lightweight and as a result, um, aesthetic lines that you can't get on any other car using conventional um, uh, production means. So, my next favorite feature in the i8 is this futuristic look. Just look, just look at it. There is not another car that looks anything like it. There's just nothing like it at all. You cannot confuse this car with anything else. And it truly is from the future. Um, I, I, this gets as many looks as some of the other exotics uh, that I've seen. In fact, I'll tell you a story that the doors, just look at the doors, the butterfly doors as they call them. I actually was at a gas station once where a guy came up to me and said, cool Lambo. And I said, 
actually it's a BMW. He goes, no, look at the doors. And I actually had to say, actually it's a BMW. He proceeded to take pictures around every angle of the car, walked away and said, awesome Lamborghini. I, I didn't have the, uh, I didn't have the strength to kind of tell him that uh, it's a BMW. And he probably went home and showed his friends this new Lambo that he saw. True story. The doors, amazing on this car. Styling, futuristic, you gotta love it. The next thing that you probably weren't aware of is that the BMW doesn't have two engines. It actually has three engines. And of course, everybody knows the first engine is the electric engine that sits over the front axle. Um, the second engine is a three-cylinder um, engine in the rear. It's a turboed engine out of the Mini Cooper S. But what you may not have known is that that engine has an electric engine on it for torque fill to reduce turbo lag on that small turbo engine. And so that is the reason why when you literally floor it in this i8, it, is, it goes like mad. It is absolutely unbelievable with this 420 um, foot pound of torque it's just it just absolutely blows you away and again that's another reason why I love this BMW i8 oh, oh my god the torque is ridiculous it gets it's so addicting yeah I love it another thing is the ambient lighting in this car. So if you've never seen it before, first of all, you can make it completely blue, you can make it white, traditional, you can make it red or orange. And there's nothing like unlocking this car in a dark parking lot or in a darkened garage and seeing this incredible blue glow from this car. It is unbelievable. Again, it plays in to the concept that this car is from the future. The other feature on this car is its connection, its telemetry. It is in fact connected uh, via 3G network, which is the drawback. So it's so futuristic, but it's on a 3G and not an LTE, LTE network or a 4G network. And so you can actually pull up um, the web, Google search or whatever else, any website on your system. And so, I'm going to show you the Supercars Personified website that you can actually pull out and look through that. So by the way, if you've never visited our website, you need to go over and take a look. We have a lot of content there as well that includes our photos. It's kind of a clearinghouse for a lot of things we do. So go check that out. So the connected, uh, system here for the internet is also a great feature of this car that I love. Needs to be 4G, 4G though, BMW. Step up your game. So guys, there you have it. I've told you a few of my favorite features of the car. It's certainly not exhaustive. There are a ton more features on this car that I absolutely love. Um, so tell me, what are your favorite features of the BMW i8? And what would you like to see BMW do? I can tell you I'd love to see a bigger engine and perhaps bigger batteries on this thing. But it's a delicate balancing act in terms of weight and performance. This car they've delivered is a true gem. It's in a class of its own. Um, you can't compare the Tesla P90D to it because it's not, they're not really the same. You can look at a price, but that's not what this car is about. And if you make that mistake of making the comparison, you miss the point. I love this car. It's a great daily driver. It's an incredible daily driver. I get nearly 100 miles to the gallon uh, frequently, oftentimes. Um, if it's not that, I, it's somewhere around 70 to 80. Um, but that's incredible for a car with 357 horsepower and 420 foot-pound of torque. That is as fast as, come, as, as some of the 
um, performance cars, sports cars that BMW and many other manufacturers make. So you have, in my view, the best of both worlds and I love this car. Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like these kinds of videos where I talk about the features of these cars and some of my other cars, let me know. I'll keep doing more of those and tell me what you want me to film. I'd be happy to share it with you guys. All right. Thanks again. Keep watching. Peace out. BMW i. iLife iTimes. Living with the BMW i8.